Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to today's video, which I am super excited to be filming. It's a long awaited garden project that I've been waiting years to do, and that is going to be a wildlife pond. I'm super excited to see what new wildlife it's going to bring to the garden. So I'm just watching some of the birds on the bird feeding station over there. Love sitting out in the garden in the morning listening to the birds tweeting away. So in a minute I'm going to show you everything that we've brought to create our wildlife pond. Also if you do enjoy the video then please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let's get on with today's video. The type of pond we've gone for is a fiberglass one, but alternatively you could do it out of pond liner. You just create whatever shape you want and then line it. I chose this one, which we found on Facebook Marketplace and it was only 25 pounds, so that was a real bargain. I love the shape of it. It's, it just adds a bit more definition and interest than just to a round one. Um, it does look quite deep on camera, but it's not actually that deep in life. And as it's going to be a wildlife pond, I'm going to put loads of veins and boulders inside. So it's not going to actually be that deep for yes, anyone yeah. worrying about child safety. And also half of it's going to be on a fenced area and the other side, I'm going to add loads of big boulders and tall plants to kind of disguise it a little. Then inside here, we've got some key important components to a pond. One of the most important types of plants to add is an oxygenating one, as it adds oxygen, obviously for wildlife, so they can breathe under the water easily. And also, they absorb algae and help keep your pond clear. So this is the first one we've got. It's a miniature pennywort. This one just floats on the surface. And then the second oxygenating plant I've got is this one. This is a slender club rush, Serpus cernus, and it's kind of like grassy. For a pond this size, which is approximately two meters by 1.4, I think you need probably two oxygenating plants. Then the next one, this one is a marginal one and apparently this one smells like orange. You just have it floating in the water and then it's got these little white flowers. And then also a water forget-me-not which has some really pretty blue flowers on and they just float along the surface. And the final plant I'm going to be planting inside the pond is this one. It's a Japanese Clematis iris that grows quite tall and it has some pretty purpley blue flowers. These ones I'm going to put around the pond. This is a marsh marigold again. Oops, it's a marginal and I'm just going to plant that I think either just floating on top or around the edge and then I've got this lovely fern to go around the edge. Also another important reason for having lots of plants in your pond is because it provides lots of shelter and habitats for any wildlife that's going to be going inside it. Then also important is a way for wildlife to get in and out. So we found these in the local woodlands. I think we're gonna go with this one because it's got lots of roots to get in and out of the pond. Then to go around the edge, we picked up these big pieces of slate 
These yes, again were at Facebook Marketplace and was only two pounds forty. So they was an absolute bargain, especially these ones over here because they are quite large and would be expensive to buy in a garden centre. Then around the edge of the pond, we're going to be adding some of this blue slate chippings. And then we just picked up two different sizes of Cornish, no, Scottish pebbles. So we've got the larger ones and then also these smaller ones here. We're not quite sure yet where we're going to put the pond, whether we're going to do it here or just this side.
Well, I'll do from there to there, don't I? Where you go? We haven't got nothing from the front. There's plenty up there. Yeah. There's plenty up there. What gets stuck? Yeah, I have to have what heaven used to get in so we can get out. Bite those. Well, I won't go worry too much about them because we don't have that thing down, don't we? Well, yeah, but we still need something to go in. Yeah. So, what we've done at the minute is we've just sort of built little sort of stepping stones, ways in and out for wildlife to get in and out from four different ways. We're going to start filling it up now and then see what else we can do. These little bits in. Look, we're in there. Let me move it, right? That's all right, yeah. And then put that one on the angle there. So this is a close-up of what we've done so far inside. We've just created a couple of little hiding spaces and also like little kind of bridges for things to get in and out easily and so they don't get stuck. Now we're going to fill it up and then see what else we can add to it. Just filling it up now. It doesn't take too long. Might even add a big boulder in the middle. Sure way. Yeah. Do you want to put that big one in there? Put it yeah. So if we, we can get some more of them anyway, can't we? After the front. Kind of, will it go across from one side to the other? Hopefully that will do the job. We are going to add some more stones around the edge so it's wildlife friendly. Does anyone else find running water therapeutic? Because I love it. It's so relaxing. I can't wait to the area over here that looks a mess at the minute we've sorted out we're going to put a nice patio down here we're not sure whether to build a pagoda yet but it's the back of the pond there we want to sort of build it up and make kind of like a waterfall but only on that trickles so 
day it doesn't really interrupt the wildlife and I can't wait to see what we're going to find in here first. Now it's all full with water we're going to be adding these plants in there. Let's start with these two oxygenating ones. This one's lovely it's gonna just float on top of the surface where are we going to put that one? Yeah. Try it here. No, that's not down enough. It's not down enough, so it's going to be It's got to be in. Yeah, like, uh... Too low, is it, or...? No, it's oxygenating, so it's got to be in the water. Yeah, there. Yeah. Will it stay there? No. Uh, a bit more relaxed there. No, I don't want it there. Yeah, leave it there, then. Oh, we put that out. No, leave it there. That's too low. And then we've also got this grassy looking one. That might look all right this, over there, yeah. On this, this ledge here. Or don't it stay up? Yeah, just there if it will. Yeah, it's alright on that ledge there. Stay there. Then we are going to add. What should we do next? This water forget me not. Just take the tag out. That just flates on top, so well, is that meant to be like that? So need to no, that's too low. So need to what it? about in or up here on this? On there? No, oh, there. Don't block, don't block the way in though. I've put a couple of slabs down there. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bigger piece there, look. Behind you, yeah. Like it? Yeah. Cute. What we got in there? That well, one's for the middle, isn't it? Like the lilies, but it's not. Yeah, but we need the wood for that. Look at this one bubbling up. You can see the bubbles coming off this one already. That's what it's supposed to do, add oxygen. And that one? This one's an oxygen. Oh, that one's not really an oxygenate one, but yeah, I can see that. And then, buddy, I see all the little bubbles. oxygen bubbles coming off it. I don't really like this one, I do. I think it's nice. We're just adding this tree branch now that we found in some woodland area near us. This is just going to add a safe way in and out for wildlife. And I think it looks quite cool. Maybe it just needs, will it go back a bit more? So I've just added this piece of tree branch into the pond. This was just found in some local woodland. And this just helps wildlife to get in and out as well as the stones. And it looks quite cool, doesn't it? Yeah. We've got a couple more plants. I like this one. We're going to try and put it in there so it's sort of floating on top if it will I think we have to put a bit of a tree branch across don't we so we've just got one more plant to add in and it's filling up quite nicely now isn't it yeah. looking at very green and oxygenated What's that one? That one is this last one is an orange one and I've just knocked all the stones out of it this one it tells you on the back what zone it's for 
and it's saying one to two which means either out the water or just in the water yep so we've just finished putting the plants on in and i think it's really starting to take shape we just need to add rocks around the edge now yeah i'm really pleased with that we've just membraned up now and then we're just gonna add these little slate pieces around the edge and then on the rest of this we're going to add some scottish pebbles and some plants Not really, no. Or just all that. Okay, put that under me. We're just putting in the pond side fern now. So we've just placed these three huge bits of slate here to make a bit of a feature and also just to stop kids so from getting so close to the pond. And we're just going to fill this area up with some Scottish puddles. I want to have another bucket of little ones first. Can we get the ones here first? Huh? Yeah, we'll put them in the bucket. Yeah, I'm going to put this in the bucket. Yeah, I'm going to put Stop all that fast there, all that stuff. But there's some bigger ones. Yeah, just to put on this now. I think this Scottish pebbles goes really well with this green colour side, doesn't it? Yeah, I think these two different aren't they? You want some bits, some of this taken off from here, okay? Yeah, I'm coming around here again. Well, I just want, you want four inches at the edge? That much? Yeah. Yes. Another cut. Oh, so I'm sure you'll be trying to make green part of the pond, don't you? All the way over there. That's it. Yeah. <coughs> okay. What's it those? Yeah. 
what they are up to. No chlorine, mate. Oops, I'm going to be doing that. These flatter bits might look nice with wood in the back bit, or these things, and them two bits put round there. You put them two bits round there, eh? The, the, they used to round that side. A bit flat, but it's touching there. Yeah. Well, that, it? Plant, 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 isn't it? Right. What plants we got? Well, we get some plants in there, we have to get some more rocks. So, what have we got then? <coughs> Excuse me, cats. This one was recommended, wasn't it? Lobelia Queen Victoria. I might not put it inside. I'm going to start something like that. It's that bit of wood there. Yeah, I've been inside. Yeah, there. We can still come around that way there, can't we? This is an excellent border plant which also thrives in bug gardens and bad woods. We're just going around the edge now with some sleep just to disguise the plastic a bit. And it's looking good so far. And we've already had a first little visitor, a black frog. Even but there. unfortunately, we weren't quick enough. And he's now hiding under one of the rocks. Isn't that rock there is? How do you know? Oh, so it's still in there then. We sat on there, wasn't it? Looking at me yesterday. Yeah. And typically, it's raining British again. weather is raining every time we come out to finish something off. It rains. We need it hanging over a little bit more. But so far, it's looking amazing. Just ignore these stains here because they're always had a little play. Uh, <coughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that's not hanging enough, is it? What this one? We've got that one. Well, that, that one up there, isn't it? Yeah, because it's on a bend, isn't it? <coughs> oh God, hey fever. Will it not go flat? Oh. <coughs> Try turning it around.
We are just finishing off around the edges now with this blue sleet chipping just to fill in any little gaps around the edging sleets. Then we're going to put some Scottish pebbles down. It's a very dirty job. What we're putting in there then? What's that plant called? Mm. A Trollius Golden Queen. It's got nice yellowy gold flowers Five, 60 on. 60 centimetres, spread 45. So it will be taller than the rocks, which will be nice. Flowers after you. So this back area over here, we've just slightly built it up, but we're going to build it up even more in the next few weeks and create like a two tier waterfall but only a gentle one as wildlife do prefer still water. But I'm really pleased with it. I think we've done an excellent job. And a lot of the stuff has been done on budget because we've picked stuff up from Facebook Marketplace for a bargain, including these two here. A lot of these slates around the edge and then these three was only two pounds twenty I can't wait to see what other wildlife we find coming to visit we've also put our bird feeding station up there which we keep topping up with mealworms in the tray and as you can see it's empty again and we've already done that twice today and they've been having a crikey they've been at that even more yeah they love it they love that that was just put out what today actually yeah and then in this buddleia over here we've got a little squirrel house but birds keep getting in it and then we've also got one of these kind of things. Give me the fart, mate. Sit stones go quite well together, it just sets it up a bit. Whoa, scary. So this is the finished wildlife pond. I'm definitely chuffed with that. I say it finished. It is finished for now, but as I say, we are going to build up this area quite high. Another two-tier waterfall. Well, as I say, we have got one frog in there somewhere. It's hiding over there under a little slate and it's a black one which is a bit unusual. I've never seen a black one before.
so that is our completed wildlife pond i'm so happy with it i've waited years to do one and i can't wait to see what wildlife we're going to be getting in the garden now we have put a bird feeding station right next to it which has been having lots of different types of birds come which is really exciting i hope you've enjoyed watching our project and if you've got any feedback or tips on if we've done anything wrong or if we can improve the wildlife pond in any way then please do leave us a comment down below because we really appreciate any help we can get and we'll see you in the next video.